little dancing. Oh. Ah! Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome back to Little Misfortune. I am excited and a little nervous to get back with our little protagonist. Let's play. Okay, so we're back in the sewers now. I have no idea what this says. Maybe Little Misfortune can tell us. No? Okay. Squirrel feed? This looks just like a movie I saw on TV. <laughs> These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? Throw the acorns! With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Voice? There we go. Ah, oh, look, I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. She is so cute. Aim with left stick and shoot with A. How do I aim? Okay. Oops! I missed. Oh, there we go, okay. We'll go up here and we'll go boom! Oh, right on it. <laughs> and they just evacuate. Oh, good job, Little Miss Fortune. Well done, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, time to go. Ew! Uh, there's suspicious things floating in the uh, sewers that we're in right now. Oh, we can look at this. Squirrel spin? Hmm. Uh... I thought that said squirrel feed, not squirrel speed. Good lord. This looks like the science project daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but mommy was really angry about it. She was probably rightly angry <laughs> about it. That's a lot of cash. Oh my Is goodness. This the eternal happiness? Oh no. No. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Money might help make things easier in life, but it is not happiness. Climb the ladder or stay in the sewer? Let's climb the ladder. Let's get out of the sewers. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Me? Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? No. Nope. If so, how I will won't she let die? Her. And when will the evil fox kill her? No. Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Why do you say things this suspiciously? <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. Aw, <laughs> uh, okay, wait, I'm gonna go back because you always try and go back. There's some crows. <laughs> Can't go back. So we see a missing poster over here for a little kid. Look, a missing kid. Aw. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Aw. go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> I don't like... Everything he says has a suspicious undertone to it. Whoa! People are wearing masks. Hello. Hi. Wait a minute. That's the girl in the missing poster. Why is everyone wearing a mask? Ugh, smells like bull crap. <laughs> Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. The world needs a plan. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Miss Fortune, you are too cute. Phantasmagoria, a horror fair. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to Oberfield? That's so awesome. Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't 
play with my feelings now. Oh. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Benjamin! From the hoods in the woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. <laughs> Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you. Foxes are dangerous. I don't believe you. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Benji, he's adorable. I don't think Benji's gonna hurt us. Ah, this ah. is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Benjamin has written, uh, you children hide your children. Hide your children hide with the monster. Is that, <gasps> Mr. Voice, is this you? What if that's Mr. Voice? Or wait, is that the, no, cause we saw that he was talking to the Grim Reaper at the beginning. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go, little Miss Fortune. Slow down your foot. Miss Fortune. What? Language. Ah. <laughs> App. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. All these crows are dying around her. I'm concerned. Okay, we're at the park now. Hey, that has that drawing up in the corner has antlers, like Benjamin was drawing. Hmm, everything is suspicious. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. Don't feed the birds. How do the birds go into this? Because the crows are a huge point here. Eat There's fruits There's a and lot veggies. of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Read bench poems? Mm, yes, we're gonna read them. Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. <laughs> no signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. Maybe we shouldn't have read those poems. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should have thought that one through. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo, my fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do. I guess. <laughs> oh, should we give the fish away? See, I'm at, I have a dilemma because it could get us more dialogue, but I also don't trust Mr. Voice and it would make Miss Fortune sad and I don't want to make Miss Fortune sad. So I'm going to keep the fish. I know it might be a bad decision, but I'm doing it. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Rodrigo is my responsibility. Yes. That's 
very mature of you, Miss Fortune. All right, hopefully nothing happens to Miss Fortune or the seagull. Bye, seagull. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Ride the royal... Sure. We're yes anding it. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. <laughs> She's too cute. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey, stop it. Oh, oh no, is she gonna... Oh. No! Are you okay, Miss uh, Fortune? That was unfortunate. Are you alright? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. Oh. oh look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Show some of the dance moves? Ooh, let the duck dancer show your dance skills. <laughs> I don't trust the narrator, so I'm gonna let the duck dance. practice for a while <laughs> i leave it to the pros is the deck gonna dance oh, for us cute. Aww. cool dancing oh. Oh! you okay. jerk okay. poor misfortune oh no 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 is she gonna get hit again <laughs> no <laughs> how do i stop this <laughs> Unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, <laughs> if you say so. Aww. Well, we can still kind of dance. Can we talk to him? No. All right. Bye, duck. Cool dance moves. Even though you hit me in the face twice. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what else can go wrong? <laughs> yes, I want to ride. Go, Miss Fortune! Don't fall off! No, 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 no! Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Hey! Oh no, Miss Fortune! Why are you laughing? That was mean. Okay, we're going here. Picking this up. When the trees are naked and the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Huh? When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold. When the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Okay. Mm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Nothing. You don't know anything, Mr. Boys. All right, what is this? Uh, open... No. More of the drawings? This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. I see great Honestly, potential too. Very artistic. Mm -hmm. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. I don't really? like you. All right. I'm scared. I'm scared for you, Miss Fortune. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> I'm so scared for you, Miss Fortune. I'm so scared. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? Have we ever stolen anything? No. Miss Fortune's a good little girl. No, never. Never? Good for you. Second question. Okay. Are you happy right now? Are we happy right now? I think Miss Fortune is happy right now. I think Miss Fortune has a really positive outlook on life despite having had negative things happen to her. I'm gonna go with yes. Also because I want Miss Fortune to be happy. Yes, I mean, 
nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? <sighs> what do we say? I want it to be yes, because I want misfortune to feel loved. And Benjamin loves us, right? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Those questions were sad. <laughs> I want misfortune to feel happy and loved. Okay, there's two missing kids. Wait. Didn't Hero have a hat on? Huh. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Wait, so the other thing was that blonde kid went missing. Or like, wasn't missing, but we saw- Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? <laughs> Yikes forever. No. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Oh, no, 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 no. That shovel. Okay. I knew there was something up with Mr. Voice. Uh-uh. Don't like this at all. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> dig this grave? Can I just dig any grave? We'll dig this one. <laughs> we get more Ugh. information. It smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. I will not be having a hot dog for a long time after that comment. <laughs> okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> uh, yeah. I gotta know what this pug looks like. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Are all of them gonna be nothing? Unless it's the hmm. goldfish? Stephanie Quinn. Writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Oh, hmm. Stephanie! Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Oh, Stephanie! Ah, <laughs> uh, no prize. No How's prize. How's grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. We got this, Mr. Boys. Leave me alone. What is this one? It says, Paul died doing what he <laughs> loved. It's simple. Ew. Yikes forever. Yikes forever. Alright, sure. I don't think that's the goldfish, but we'll still dig the grave. Uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Aww. That's so sad. Okay, we have this and then something over here. I'm gonna walk over and see what's over here. It's probably gonna be the last one, right? Where are you going? The graves are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm such a rude little lady. Let's keep digging. All right, let's go see what this one is first. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Aww. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, dig this grave? Sure. Ah, uh, no prize in here. No prize. All right, let's do this last one. Where there's dirt misplaced? It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Yeah. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. All right, let's open the box. Eternal happiness. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? That's not Benjamin's said, handwriting. I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. I don't believe you. That's not Ben, because we've seen Benjamin's handwriting when he said, hide your children. <laughs> it 
bit and my eternal happiness. I don't believe in his fortune. <laughs> the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. What if the happiness was the fox friend we made along the way? <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. I'm gonna miss. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. I'm getting this doll first. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for what they're, uh, for why they're in pain. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Hmm. Children in pain. Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining. <laughs> you're imagining things. I'm not finding Benjamin's dolls. Don't worry about it. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. I see a weird looking grave. What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Huh. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Oh, can I put, it back? put it back? Let me read what this says. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. No, it's oh, not. Really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. And we're gonna find it. Alright, let's take the piece. And go see if we can find any other sayings around here. I got nervous because there's a door. Um, so I thought it was going to take me somewhere. Aha. Benjamin. That, that hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. I don't Nothing believe you. bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Don't do it. Don't do it, Miss Fortune. Go anywhere else. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. <laughs> Miss Fortune. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this little girl. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Where did Mr. Voice go? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Wow, what are the chances? Oh, uh, damn. I dropped it. Uh. <laughs> Can we find it again? No. All right. <laughs> Fox repellent? No, we're going past this. We're going past it. I'm not getting it. It looks like there's somebody else behind us. Hello? Is it Benjamin? Okay, we have to get the fox repellent, I guess. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> no, don't fall for the marketing tricks. Ah, so a lover opens Ooh. up. Can I... Alright, let's just keep going. Oh, there you are. Hi, Benjamin. What are you doing, Benjamin? Use the fox repellent? No! I like Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh. <laughs> Aww. What have I gotten myself into? 
She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? <laughs> it's not natural. Uh. Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. So, what is going on? Newspaper? Open Fields uh, is on fire. Local artist GM retires after incident. My son is missing. Oh, the fire with the pets. Bird invasion. Ah, because we've been seeing crows everywhere. We didn't win, but we had fun in sports. Hmm. So the fire, we've seen a couple things about the fire. Oh, the soup. You know, with the animals. Ah. Oh my god, the bird up in the left-hand corner. What an interesting choice for design. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. What? Is Benjamin really related to the fox in the zoo? Open fields, Centrum Gallerian? Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? I'm not sure about uh, that. Actually. <laughs> Was that you, Mr. Voice? There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry. I had a shoelace problem. <laughs> no. Let's just keep going then. So he's dangerous, Mr. Voice. Hi. You look familiar. What? Is that the girl in these posters? Miss um, wait a minute. Is that Daniela yeah. Bambini? Oh. You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. <laughs> She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I don't trust Mr. Boys. Look at what he did to this lamppost. If he can do that to a lamppost, what can he do to little kids? It's scary. Alcohol is a tool for relaxed communication, not a solution. Oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Mm, I'm sad. I'm sad for little misfortune. She knows too much about adult things. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. <sighs> that man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Steal it or ret <sighs> return it. We're doing the good thing. Miss Fortune is doing the good Wait, thing. Sir. You drop your wallet. Hey, see? We did the right thing. Is this for me? What do we get? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Hey! Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Is it a winner? How do I do this? <laughs> you win! <gasps> we win? Ah. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. 
I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. Oh. I, I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Oh, Miss Fortune, can I throw glitter? I can. Yay! Happy raccoon! <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune. <laughs> happy face? It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. You're still pretending even if you're wearing a mask. I know who owns this door. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while though. All these kids are going missing. Oh my god. All these kids. Wow. There's a little doll. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Misfortune is catching on. I'm so suspicious. And it's gotta have, okay, so the crows are playing into it, the missing children, Mr. Voice. I still trust Benjamin though. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Okay, information board. Ah, look, we have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. Yikes I forever. I meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. <laughs> I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune's laugh is so cute. children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, Maybe you need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm <laughs> definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. Mmm, I have a feeling more. I think he's a demon. Should I sit down and wait? Do uh, you please? No, not yet. Thank you. Not yet, not yet. Let's keep looking at things. <laughs> Shake this out. That street is cold. Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for explaining that, Misfortune. <laughs> Excuse me? How dare you? Where is the puppy? Did you uh, yeah. take the puppy? One should pet puppies, not take them and... Who knows what? I don't know. Do you? Really? All right. <laughs> really? All right, I guess let's sit down and wait now. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Our little lady misfortune. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. <laughs> you know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Love yourself. Get happy, face. A simple solution. Free of regrets. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. Ah. Oh. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, Ew, that's a little bullcrap. Run for your life, little baby cow. 
Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Let's start your parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! That poor baby cow. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hey! I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titles yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. <laughs> Poor misfortune. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. <laughs> we are at the zoo now, and we'll continue with Little Miss Fortune's story. She is such an interesting little girl. Um, I want her to be happy. I hope we can act, like actually find eternal happiness and not whatever it is that Mr. Voice is saying, because I still do not trust him. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, be sure to leave a like down in the video. Let me know down in the comments. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friend. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye. I want to get Miss Fortune to trust Benjamin again. Hopefully we can do that next time. We'll see.